I am the agriculture science teacher at James Nicky Rowe High School. Okay. I guess, yes, uh, tell me about uh, your experiences as a student. And, and for you, I know you've mentioned to me it was kind of a dream come true for you uh, to go through the row program and now you, you guide the row program. Um, actually, yes. So I get to live my dream every day and um, teach agriculture science at row. Um, when I was a student, my senior year, I told my ag teacher that I wanted to be um, an ag teacher and go into, into teaching ag. I, originally, I wanted to be a vet when I first got into the program. And um, that changed because I, I wanted to give back the experience that I got to my students. And I want more students to experience what we do in agriculture and in FFA. And so um, I set a goal as chapter president my senior year to make our chapter the best it could be and grow it to its full potential. And so my ag teacher told me, well, you have four years to graduate, so you can come back. And I'm like, okay, so I did it. <laughs> and um, I applied and I got the job and I was really excited. And I mean, now like I wake up every day and I work the 15 hour days and um, I love it. I love everything that I do. And and the most important thing that I value most about what I do now is that we've grown so much and we've accomplished the goals that we set back when I was a student to now. And um, our program has grown. Our students are very engaged in all aspects of certifications to livestock showing to competitions. And um, I'm just, I'm really proud of all that we do. And I couldn't do it without the help of our students and our parents. They're very supportive of what we do. And tell me a little bit about some of the skills that kids learn, both both the uh, direct skills for FFA and also some of the soft skills that they'll learn in your program. They, oh, they definitely learn a lot of uh, communication, um, public speaking skills for sure, um, because when, in my class, like when even we do a lot of um, hands-on activities, 4D, like our classroom is alive when we're there together. And so I try to bring that to our virtual classroom as well. So they get to learn how to not be afraid to talk in front of people. Uh, they definitely communicate very well and they're very responsible. They develop that as well um, because they have to feed the animals. A lot of them feed animals and they, those animals depend on them for survival. So they, they learn a lot of responsibility, dedication. The students are very disciplined in that aspect. And um, I just, I'm really proud of them. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. And you. Uh, is that your high school jacket behind you or is that? Actually, only... yes. It is my, my personal FFA jacket that um, I decorated here in my little office here at home. And so that is my jacket from when I was in school. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Wow. Well, thank <laughs> you. And uh, we'll move on to uh, Martina. Yeah. Hi, I'm Martina. I am a country music singer and songwriter living in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's a, well, a pleasure to have, have you on and everything like that. Uh, well, tell Thank us you. a little bit about, um, that, now you're, you went through FFA program as, a, as a student and, and tell I us how, you know, what you learned then and how that's kind of connected to what you, what you're doing now. Absolutely. So uh, I grew up in Central California and went to a high school, um, Sanger High School. And all four years I was involved really, really hardcore into FFA. It was, it was definitely my favorite thing. Um, and I was always, I'm an only child, so I was always animated, really loud, sometimes obnoxious. And <laughs> what FFA did for me was really mold me into the person I am to today. So my advisor and all of my ag teachers really helped me hone in on the skills that I was good at and public speaking was one of them. And all throughout high school, I was really involved in public speaking. So from Creed to prepared um, job interview, I went on to state and I was an officer, uh, both chapter, sectional, regional. Um, I was regional FFA president, ran for state, but didn't make it and thought I was going to be an ag teacher right out of high school. So I went on to college and music came into my life back in the MySpace days. <laughs> and I found myself singing in competitions and then I found myself here in Nashville, Tennessee, living with my husband 
traveling the nation. Uh, we've been on a couple of radio tours, um, which that's where FFA comes back around. Um, I remember moving to town and a couple of people were so impressed in the industry that that I could remember everyone's names. And they said, there's only one other artist you, you completely remind us of that, that can remember everyone's names. And I said, who's that? And I said, Garth Brooks. He's the only one in the industry that will see you five years later and remember your names. And I said, well, in FFA, <laughs> we had so many icebreakers and ways to learn everyone's names. And that is really, that itself has brought me to where I am today. Just, just remembering names um, and being in front of a crowd staying calm, collected, trying not to say um too many times and remembering my speaking points in a radio tour because you can talk about yourself and what you believe in, but you only have about this much time with a radio DJ at 5 a.m. and the window of opportunity to get all out is very, very small. <laughs> so um, FFA, I, I can't say it enough. I'm, my husband and I are advocates and we truly believe in the future of agriculture. Cool. Well, Martina, thank you. I appreciate you sharing that today. Absolutely. Uh, thank you. Good. But Martina, I, I bet you have a good message for kids too, because uh, I mean, you can probably uh, offer testament to how, uh, you know, hard work uh, can pay off. And, you know, being, in, I know the entertainment industry is hyper competitive. There's a lot of rejection, a lot of scrutiny, and it's easy to, you know, to let that get you down. And, but you had that dream of wanting to succeed there. And, and I'm sure it was hard for you, but you persevered. Absolutely. Um, I think one of you had, had tapped into um, um, when you're competing, but taking the criticism with it, there's a lot of second places to last places in the music industry. And it's very uh, humbling. You, you learn. And, and it's funny because I've even been told this, I'll, I will get a no you know, a door will close or just, you know, I don't think this, this partnership will work out. And I'm like, that's fine. What, what can I work on? And they're like, why are you so eager? <laughs> I said, I don't know. FFA taught me that, <laughs> you know, if, 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 if it's going to be a no, or I, I have to pass, or you didn't win the trophy or first place, what can I do to get there next time? And that, that is a big thing that I, that really helped launch where I am today. And one of the highlights is we got to play twice um, our state conference. So 6,000 screaming kids and my chapter made a bunch of signs and they held them up and they were like, we're so proud to have Martina's Sanger FFA alum. And I was like, that's what it's about. That's, that's the full circle moment. That's making an impact on, on our youth and, and just really, like I said, moving forward. No honky tonk with my baby. John Barry's song, but good all night under the neon lights. If I could go back, give me back the nineties and an old honky tonk with my baby. And a wine on the song, but good all night. Under the neon lights, if I can go back, that's where you find me. Give me back the lights. Give me back the lights.